Now, the wealth gates of God often move through a place where God will start uh, taking you from different degrees of uh, sacrificial uh, financial assignments that often break you into um, a level of obedience and surrender that many have never gone. He'll take you to a place where the Spirit of God will entrust you to sow and to accomplish kingdom assignments for him in the earth. And as you grow and grow and grow in the seed, he starts giving you more and more money in your power. Now, I want you to see this, that the wealth gates have not been entered in by many people. And that's why um, oftentimes when people do pray the prayer of salvation, they become religious. They become religious. They don't become righteous. They become religious, which is scary. Because when you become religious, you're actually going to become an adversary to the things that you have a right to. The things that you're supposed to have. Now, you, now you're going to be mad at it. And so when people have prayed that prayer of salvation, instead of becoming righteous, they've become religious. And in becoming religious, in the spirit of religiosity, it rejects money. It rejects wealth. But when you become righteous, riches come with righteousness. So it's impossible for you to be righteous and not be rich. It's possible for you to be rich and not righteous, but it's impossible for you to be righteous and not rich. And so when we deal with the word righteous, we're dealing with a word that is explaining that I agree with how God wants to do this in my life. And so you can't become a sower until you agree with how God wants to do it in your life. You have to agree. You have to agree that this is the way that I'm going to come into my wealthy place. Now, saints, watch this here. The wealthy place and the wealth gates, rather, has different streams of impartation. So when we deal with the wealth gates, we're dealing with a stream that takes you into provision that you want, that you will enjoy, that is higher than your job, is higher than um, governmental assistance, is higher than any avenue of income that you already been receiving. Wealth gates is bigger than than any amount of money that you have experienced on earth. Because this has all type of provision from the beginning to the end of your life that you are supposed to unlock through your obedience to God with the seed. Now, wealth gates have angels that are assigned to these wealth gates that when you have been given the authority to walk through these wealth gates, these angels will minister to you. They will work for you. And so that's why when you are a sower, you have to know how to talk in the spirit. Because these angels are looking for you to voice the word of God personally. Personalizing prophecies. Personalizing promises, personalizing provision, personalizing El Shaddai, personalizing Jehovah Jireh. Now, Jehovah Jireh, it is a place. It is wealth gate region. Jehovah Jireh is wealth gate region. So it's the region where wealth gates operate as well. Jehovah Jireh is a place where you discover provision that is higher than what you have been experiencing before. Now, listen, you listen to people's stories. They always talk about how they used to be blessed. You lying. 
You wasn't blessed. Let me, let me tell you something. Some of y'all was on uh, what they call that stuff. Get home, loan stuff. That ain't no blessing. I don't want it. You don't. You don't know what it means to be in the riches of God. I don't want it. This is some of y'all got this thing in your mind. No. If you gotta lie on on papers to get a place, you gotta lie on papers to get a certain housing. That's not the blessing. All right. Now I want I want you to hear this. God will sustain you with those things and he'll be merciful to you. But you haven't tasted and seen the Lord's goodness at the level that he wants to show you. Section 8 ain't no blessing. So so any any house you have on section 8 don't don't try to talk about that you using no big house, you was in no nice house. Use a that you I want to cuss you out so bad. I want to cuss you out. You lying. <laughs> ain't no section eight place that, 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 that is, is the highest. God, God, but God will use section eight to train you. But listen, you can't go higher than that until you get wrong people out your life. God going to keep you on section eight until you realize that your section supposed to be blocked off from certain people. And you can stop God from taking you higher because you, because of who you surround yourself with. The wealth gates have been hidden and a lot of people have never tasted of it. They don't know what it means to walk through the wealth gates. Because when wealth gates come upon you, you're going to find yourself being untouched by what's happening in the world. When the wealth gates are starting to operate toward you, you are going to see the salvation of God in every situation. And when the wealth gates are open unto you, you yourself will hear thoughts in your mind to speak words that are commanding wealth, that are loosing wealth. You will hear Loosing wealth words. And that's when you're in the spirit. When you're in the spirit, you'll hear wealth loosing words. And you'll hear God saying things to you in the area of financial decrees. Because you're supposed to speak that into your atmosphere. You're supposed to speak that into your atmosphere. So God will start conversating with you in an unusual way. You'll hear the spirit of God saying things to you. That you are supposed to prophesy. 